All right, so let's talk about last night's global data download. Starting here on DBZ Space, as you can see, we are going to be getting the token awakenings for Fizz launch as well as Int Oceanus Genron. They're both going to be dropping tonight at 11:30 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time or tomorrow morning at 2:30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Obviously, it's different depending on your time zone. But uh, yeah, they're both coming out very, very soon. And at the same time, we should also be getting the new Rising Dragon Carnival Double Rates banner, which will feature both the girls along with a bunch of other, uh, you know, random SSRs. Obviously, the only reason most people summon on these banners is to hopefully pull some of the unfeatured LRs like uh, LR UI Goku or LR Rose, Tech Broly, Kalen Khalifla and so on and so forth, right? But honestly, guys, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be summoning on this banner because I just really don't think that it's worth it right now. Not just for me, but for any global players out there. And I know some people want to see me do a stream or a couple of videos because I always do that for new banners. But this is a bit of a different situation because you got to keep in mind that we're most likely going to be getting the LR Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta as well as LR Jiren before the end of 2020. I would say most likely in the middle of December for the Christmas celebration. So for anybody that's thinking about summoning on the Double Rates banner when it drops tonight, um, I wouldn't tell you to not do it. I wouldn't say it's a terrible idea. My personal recommendation would be to go very light on this banner, do like two to three multis and then call it a day because most people should be saving their stones for you know, the Blue Boys, Jiren, and any of the other better banners that are coming in the future, okay? Of course, that's just my personal recommendation. You can do whatever you want with your stones, but uh, we will be getting the Awakenings for Launch, Oceanus Shenron, as well as the new Double Rates banner later tonight. But we are also getting a few more things, so let's pop over to Twitter here. And a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG for posting the assets as always. So on top of launch and Oceanus Genron, we're also going to be getting the Extreme Z Awakening for the Tech South Supreme Kai Buu, his special sticker effect, and the fully translated assets for the uh, Awakening Medals, the Extreme Z area, and also the unit itself for the Int Free-to-Play Raditz. Okay, so I think that about covers it for last night's data download. Taking a quick look at the assets here. We got uh, Raditz's, you know, Extreme Z Awakening medals. We got the special sticker effect for the Tech Boo. We got the Oceanus Chenron Extreme Z, or sorry, Dokkan Awakening. And also the Fizz Launch Dokkan Awakening. And for anybody that came to this video just, you know, to check out what the assets were, what the data download was for, there you go. Feel free to click off the video now. Oh, of course, before you go, make sure to like the damn video. But for other people that don't know what these awakenings actually do and you are curious about their, you know, leader skill, passives, all that stuff, then uh, keep watching. Okay, so now let's switch over to the Dokkan Wiki. And we're going to start here with the Fizz Launch Dokkan Awakening. Okay, so her leader skill is Peppy Gal's Category Key Plus 3. HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. She starts off as the uh, blue hair, you know, good launch, but as soon as she enters her first attacking turn, she's gonna transform into the blonde hair launch. And as a blonde hair launch, her super attack causes supreme damage and greatly lowers attack and defense. Her passive is attack and defense plus 120%, key plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 60%, launches 2 additional attacks, each of which has a high chance of becoming a super attack and a high chance of performing a critical hit for 6 turns from start of turn. Seals the attack enemy super attack when there is another Peppy Gauss category ally attacking in the same turn. So basically, for the for the first six turns of the fight, she is absolutely insane. Okay, she's launching up to like four supers, each of which has a high chance of becoming a critical hit, and she's getting a huge boost on her passive too. Um, she's an absolutely insane unit, one of the best TURs in the game now, actually. Oh, also her links are Battlefield Diva, Flea, which is one of the worst links in the game, even after. Yeah, even after the um, 
Link update. It's still not great. Like, look at that. Uh, level 1 is key plus 1 when HP is 30% or less. Level 10 is key plus 2 and chance of evading enemies attack plus 10% when HP is 50% or less. So you're still only getting this link when you're below 50% HP, which is, like I said, pretty awful still. Uh, Metamorphosis, Berserker, Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, and Shattering the Limit. And uh, categories, Pepe Gals, Transformation Boost, DB Saga, and Earthlings. Okay, so... From there, let's pop over to the Oceanus Genron, her leader skill, the Shadow Dragon Saga, uh, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 120%, super attack raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and seals the super attack of the enemy, and passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 120%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 60%, and launches an additional super attack when the target is in attack down status or defense down status. Attacks effective against all types and high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when the target enemy super attack is sealed. Okay, so she's a little bit more conditional, but she's still very, very, very good. As long as you have her, you know, linked up or on the same rotation with a unit that can uh, reduce enemy's attack or reduce enemy's defense, she's going to be doing some crazy stuff as well. Really, really good damage. Um, doesn't hit as hard overall as launch does, but she also doesn't lose you know, her extra boost and stuff after a certain amount of turns, right? So, uh, basically, long story short, both the Oceanus Shenron Awakening as well as the Launch Awakening are both phenomenal. Uh, Lynx, Battlefield Diva, Metamorphosis, Cold Judgment, Shadow Dragon, Speedy Retribution, GT, and Shattering the Limit, and categories are Shadow Dragon Saga, Peppy Gals, and that's it. Um, okay, so from there, let's talk about the tech South Supreme Kai Majin Buu. Extreme Z Awakening, and uh, he does awaken from the the Buhan medals. So that's why the Buhan Extreme Z battle event is coming back uh, later tonight, because of course this is where you farm the medals to awaken this dude. And his leader skill is going to be tech types Q plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 70%, which is still not great, but much better than uh, you know tech types attack and defense plus 60%. And Super Attack raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense. And Passive is key plus 3, attack plus 100%, raises attack and defense by up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stats boost, reduces damage received by 20% when HP is 80% or more, and then recovers 5% HP at the end of the turn in which attack was received. So, when at full health, this dude does so much damage. Like, he hits really, really hard, and uh, he can be very good defensively too. 100% defense, along with 20% damage reduction above 80% HP, is uh, a good combination for some solid tanking. So, uh, yeah, great Extreme Z Awakening right there for the tech boo. And last but not least, we have the free-to-play Int Raditz. Uh, leader skill is going to be low class warrior, key plus 4, HP and defense plus 60%, and attack plus 100%. Or int types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, super attack, supreme damage to all enemies, and lowers defense. And passive is attack and defense plus 80% at the start of the turn. At the start of the turn, key plus 6, attack and defense plus 60%, and super class enemies, attack and defense minus 10% when facing two or more enemies. So obviously he is a unit that's intended to you know be used in um mostly world tournament i guess i'm not really sure how well he performs honestly when at max potential uh fully extreme z awakened like when compared to you know maybe the str uh, non lr broly um i'm guessing he doesn't hit as hard as lr broly or you know the uh lr krillin or anything like that but i'm sure he's still solid he's still you know respectable as far as damage goes he might struggle in 30x though i have to test him out a little bit but uh from what i can tell definitely a very very good attack all unit that uh, will help with you know farming like if you're trying to link level um and you don't have the fizz broly then i think this guy can be a good substitute for sure and uh, as far as links go saiyan lineage saiyan warrior race coward brutal beatdown nightmare prepare for battle shattering the limit and uh let's see Categories, low class worries. Actually, no, this is the same as before. Well, I don't know why I'm reading that. So, uh, yeah, there is the Extreme Z Awakening for the Raditz. And that is going to do it for today's video. That was the data download from last night. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys are looking forward to 
you know these awakenings unfortunately no new units for part two but i mean i think a lot of us actually need a good break um our wallets at least need a good break after coming off of the five year anniversary and the uh download celebration or the worldwide celebration back to back like that so uh i'm honestly okay with this slightly you know dry period let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about the current celebration how you feel about it compared to you know the worldwide celebration which was obviously a disappointment to a lot of people and uh what you're most looking forward to in the future for global whether it's the blue boys jiren or super saiyan 3 go tanks or the boo exchange boo or anything else that's coming up okay so that's the video guys thank you so much for watching uh, i always appreciate your viewership of course as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.